Well, welcome everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us. We're gonna talk about how to make your grant management easier. Uh, I'm Mike Fritsch. Uh, I'm Expansion Smart Sheet Practice Lead. Um, have uh, 20 plus years of consulting experience, military experience, and have been using Smart Sheet since 2015. Uh, I'm joined by Ron Krupe and I'll let him introduce himself with a few words. Hey, good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Ron Krupe. I'm a retired uh, federal chief financial officer. Uh, I had worked 38 years in the federal government and uh, in various positions in various agencies, from Homeland Security to Library of Congress, all the way out to the NLRB. But early in my career, I spent a lot of time uh, doing federal grants uh, with the uh, federal highway grants and EPA grants, as well as local uh, grants from various uh, agent, uh, agencies within the DC area. So I'm real excited about this uh, webinar today. Uh, it's a very good solution. And uh, I'm gonna turn it back over to Mike to uh, get us started. Great. Well, thanks, Ron. And uh, what we're going to talk about today is um, how we've built a solution to really make your grant management easier and, and dealing with some of the, the biggest headaches that are out there from the standpoint of managing your grants. So we're going to show you how you can eliminate bottlenecks and manual processes, uh, how your team can communicate better and collaborate better, how you can get the visibility you need, and really importantly, after you've won those grants, how you can stay in compliance and remove your reporting headaches. And, and as a bonus, we're gonna talk about a solution that can fit your needs now, but also can grow with you in the future. And so with that, I'm just gonna jump right in and uh, switch over to, let's look at the system live. So uh, as you may know, um, grants go through a life cycle. You've got a pre-award phase, an award phase, and a post-award phase. And what we've done is designed a system that supports you through all three of the phases. Um, I'm going to take you through the pre-award phase first. And one of the things that, uh, that I want to highlight to you is that we're looking at a live system. Uh, it's secure and cloud-based. Uh, it can work on any device. So uh, I'm working on my desktop, but I could just as easily uh, work on my tablet or on my phone. And so that way your team can get their work done wherever they are. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the advantages of having the visibility you need and having the collaboration that your team needs. So uh, for the pre-award phase, we've looked at those things that really are needed to make you successful. And so first we've got this overview of everything going on with your grants. And so we can see for our example, um, which is uh, a example city, we're calling it Jefferson City, that uh, Jefferson City has uh, looked out there at a total count of 29 grants that they think might fit their city's needs uh, for a total total amount of 20 million. Um, we've applied for about 11 and a half million and so far we've been we've been awarded four. And so as we're going through that application process, there is a specific uh, process and number of steps that go through. And so that's our grant pipeline. Uh, and it goes through the steps you can see on the left from proposed to accepted all the way to uh, denied or awarded or closed out. Um, we've got a team of grant writers who are going after all of these opportunities, and you can see that team in the middle. I, as a grant manager, can look at this and say, well, how is the workload across my team? Um, that way I can cross level between uh, Rom Smith and Tyler Elliott, for example. And very importantly, as I look at my pipeline so that I can collaborate and be efficient, is let me look at the phases that are uh, applications are going through. So we have a defined process that goes through a number of phases until that grant application is ready to submit. Uh, as we look at where we're going after those opportunities, we can take a quick look and see within our city departments, 
Um, where is that grant money identified to go? And from what funding agencies have we, or are we trying to receive these grants? So uh, the bulk of our grant activity here is with the federal government, but we do have the ability to look at grants from private donors as well. And so the system will work for you, whether you are you know, using government grants, private grants, or a combination of both. Uh, the process that we go to, uh, we can keep track of through a number of um, easy reports that allow us to see where a grant is at any point in time. But let's go ahead and just take through the process. Imagine that I'm a, a grant writer. Um, I have on the left, I have some quick links that help me do my job. Uh, I can look at um, grants.gov or I can look at Texas Grant Watch. Uh, as an FYI, grants.gov is where you would go most of the time, but actually their system's under maintenance right now. So uh, as a grant writer, I'm not stuck. I could still go in and, and look at uh, another grant source. In this example, I'm going through Texas Grant Watch. But let's say that I've found a, a grant that is um, applicable and something that I wanna go, go through. I can just simply open up a new grant request form and for our purposes, I've uh, you know looked at one and I'm just gonna type in some things, but um, I've got a, a Department of Education, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and this grant is for um, violence prevention. Uh, I won't go uh, into the link, but if I have a link to that particular grant, I can edit here. Um, this is, preventing and mitigating violence in schools. And hopefully your grant writers are better typists than I am. The funding agency is coming from the Department of Education. Um, these grants are have a maximum availability for each grant of 100,000. And the submission is due in a couple of months. So we're supposed to apply for this. Um, the deadline is by December 15th. This is going to go to our education department. And I've been working with them. So I know that really what they're looking for under this is 75,000. So that's what they're going to ask for. I'm gonna enter my email. That means that I, uh, it'll track and knows that I'm the one that is um, taking care of this. And I can assign this to one of our grant writers. In this case, I'm gonna assign it to Vanity Smith. And the nice thing with the system is that it stores your documents. So I can go in here and look for the particular, um, document associated with this and then I can simply attach it and so that is attached with the submission I hit submit and now I've captured that grant opportunity if I go to my pre-award portal then I can see that violence prevention has been added and now it's in my pipeline to consider and you can see that Vanity Smith now has three grants assigned to her where she had two before. So that allows a very easy way for either your grant writers or folks within your organization to identify federal um, opportunities or other opportunities to get grants. And it's an easy way to submit that information and kick off the process. Hey, Mike, so, uh, I can jump in here real quick. Yes. Um, most importantly about what you've demonstrated here so far is the ability to store documents and uh, historically with any grant you need to have every document every expense every cost and the ability to have all this uh, information stored so easily uh, when when your grant is audited when the auditors come back in they want to look at everything you have a one-stop place where you can go find all your documents you don't need to keep 
unwieldy folders like I did back in the day. I mean, the ability to store those documents, I think, is really a, a, a great uh, part of this solution. Great. Thanks, Ron. And we'll see a little bit more of that, especially in the post-award phase, where you've got a lot of documentation to keep track of. So um, here we are still in the pre-award phase, and we want to, uh, we've identified some grants that we're going after. We want to make sure that we have the greatest success of winning those grants. And so we have a defined process that we use to go through and make sure that we're, they're qualified and that our submission has the highest chance of winning. And so um, the first phase is really evaluating that opportunity ID. And what we've created is just a, a really easy checkbox system of the things that our grant writers need to do in order to complete phase one. And so uh, the, the funding opportunity, they've got to take a look at that. There may be questionnaires. They need to take a look at the readiness. Um, and once those are checked, if we, you know, as we update those, um, it automatically progresses in the system. And so you'll see that once I've cl clicked a checkbox, it now marks that I am in progress for phase one. I didn't have to do that manually. The system automatically did it for me. And let's say that Rom has worked his way through and has actually gotten approval to move into phase two. He can click that button. And as we save it, if we hit refresh again, this you'll see has disappeared off of my report. Where did it go? Well, we're now in phase two. And so if I scroll down, you'll see that Youth Baseball League has progressed into phase two. And now there are the items that we have to do around the grant abstract, the budget and the resolution. And so at any point in time, I can look as a manager and say, well, where are my grants within the pipeline, either by count or by percentage? And so that allows me to really collaborate across my team much easier and have the visibility that I need to be successful. So um, rather than take you through every phase, let's go down and talk about the next set of automation. And that is, you know, we've got a number of internal approvals that we want to check on and complete before we actually submit our application. And in this case, we've got some public school building upgrades. Um, again, Rom Smith was the writer for there. And there's some approvals that are needed. Um, and we need the, the program manager to take a look at it and make an approval. And so for, for our purposes here, I'm going to be the program manager who needs to do the approvals. And so Ram is assigning me. You can see that there have been some other assignments. Hit save. And so now we've launched a, a, a process, an automated process, so that I, as the approver, know that it that I've got something that I need to do. And so you can see here a few seconds ago, and I'll receive this both in my portal, but I'll also receive it via email. And so I can get an email and I don't have to even log into the system. I can just come in here and go, um, let me look at the attachment so I can download that attachment and see what's going on. And I'm familiar with this already. So I'm gonna just come in and I'm gonna mark that as approved and I'm gonna submit my update. And so you can see that even without the system, your approvers and your stakeholders can do their work seamlessly and easily. And so as we come back into um, taking a look, we can, we'll hit a refresh. and we can see the approvals. So if we come in here, uh, we'll see that it's, in a, it's been approved. Um, I can look at the cell history if I want to and see, um, you know, Derek maybe looked at this before and then got replaced, but we can see everything that's happened, uh, date, time stamped and who did it. And so from the perspective of never losing important information and from having a great audit history, the system has that built in. 
So let's look at some other things that in the pre-award phase, you may want to keep track of. So one of the items is we like to look at grants that we've submitted. So we've done everything, we've complied, we've made our application, and it's gone into the, um, uh, you know, into the, the grantors pipeline. And so this way we can take a look and say, you know, we had a police response to homelessness um, opportunity that we have submitted and that opportunity uh, we haven't heard back on. And so I can go ahead and go and look at that original um, grant application. I can look at the contacts that are at the funding agency, and then I can follow up and say, hey, you know, I submitted this 90 days ago. My understanding was we were supposed to have notification. Uh, can you give me a, a little bit of a status on this? And so you don't have to, you know, have a bunch of paper forms. You don't have to mark something on a calendar. The system will keep track of this and, uh, you know, keep it first in mind of those things you want to go after. At the end of our pre-award process and in our portal is those things that have been awarded. So, um, you know, they, we can keep track again of things that are overdue that we should have received word on. And then we can look at most importantly, these things that we've actually won and have been awarded to us. And so that's where we move in to the award phase and the post award phase. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk through the post award phase because that's gonna give you an illustration of what we can do with this system in the award phase itself. So again, to orient you, you know, the, the dashboard, the portal gives you the tools you need to do a particular job. These are very easy to configure so we can customize them for your organization. That's where this solution fits your size now and in the future. But we've got uh, some quick links so we can look at all of our grants. We can look at our active projects. And when we have a new project, we use this link to launch the award phase toolkit that allows us to capture all of the information that we need. And I'll show you all that information in a minute. But here we can see again from, you'll remember that we were awarded 4 million. We had eight projects awarded to us. Six of those are active. And so I can look through here and take a look at, here's a list of all my um, active projects. I can understand uh, the funding agency and which department on my side uh, is receiving those funds. But most importantly, from a compliance perspective, I can now take a look at each of those active projects and make sure that I am meeting all of my programmatic requirements. And so let's just click on um, an example here. And you can see that all of this is live. It's an easy navigation. And so for every project, uh, we have structure. And so this one is a city broad, uh, bridge audit. You can see that we've got funding to uh, uh, do an audit of city bridges for emergency preparedness and, and all the relevant information is there. If we wanted to dive down into uh, the details of a particular grant, uh, we've got various categories, the grant data, the budgets, the key grant documents, um, any special conditions, grant roles and tasks and, uh, Ron, uh, I, I'm gonna pause here because this is pretty comprehensive and this was designed to grab all the information that you need without having to have reams and reams of paper and, and lots of file folders. So uh, I'll give you a chance just to say a couple words on that. Yeah, I agree. Um, it, it, it's very, it's collective. It's It's got everything that you need to look at your grant. It uh, gives you a little uh, way forward, um, tells you all the major components of what you're dealing with in the particular grant. But better yet, there, you know, everything that supports this information, uh, the documentation, the, the uh, letters, the award documents, the spending documents, the records that support all these are stored and Having the ability to be able to toggle back and forth to those documents, uh, especially from an audit perspective, um, I think is critical. Great. Thanks, Ron. And, you know, the one of the most important things for staying in compliance is making sure that you're meeting your reporting requirements 
and other requirements. And so within the project dashboard, uh, we can see our upcoming tasks. Primarily those are gonna be reports and we can see where they're, when they're due. Uh, we can also see things that are past due. And if I look here, um, I'm looking and say, well, gosh, I'm, I'm past due on this uh, federal financial report, the annual report, but it says it's 100% and that I submitted it. You know, what's going on here? And so I can, I can click in and um, document storage is so handy because I can open that up and I see, yeah, there's my report from 2021. Um, uh, actually, Mike was the guy that attached it back on September 28th. And so uh, it looks like Charles just forgot to take this down and mark it as completed. And so once he's done that, then um, we're updated in real time. And uh, I, I can see that there's something at risk on this other quarterly performance report, I simply need to um, click in the button and I can see a conversation and understand that the, uh, the fourth and sixth street bridges, we can't access them because uh, the convention center is under construction. And so I, I can talk to Charles and say, well, let's submit this report. We don't wanna be late. And we'll just tell them that we are, uh, you know, gonna cover those two bridges later on. So you can see that we've got the ability to really interact with the system. Um, we can go, you know, deep dive down. And for each of those individual active projects, we can look across the entire range of tasks that are due. And from the, the uh, macro award portal, we can dive down and look at any one of these tasks. So I can take a look here. I can go straight in. Um, and this gives you the flavor of the detail that is in a particular project. So I can go at that level and go in, or you know, I can just look at a report and do it at the report level. So if I don't want a deep dive, I can simply come into the uh, initial report and uh, I may know that uh, the quarterly performance report actually has been done. and that it was actually done uh, yesterday. So I can go in and mark that, hit save. And now that task is complete and uh, I've updated my entire system. So I've got it on my dashboard and I've got it on uh, the individual project plan. And so, um, well, what, what happens when I've just won an award and I wanna launch you know, the programmatic requirements? That's where we just click here and this may look a little daunting, um, but it is all the information that we need. If we click on here, you'll see an example that this is all blank. And so we have an easy way to fill in the blanks and then you can capture everything that is relevant to your project. So that really um, uh, covers the demonstration for today. Just um, as a reminder, what we've, we've talked about was how this solution could do these things of eliminating bottlenecks and manual processes. You saw that with the reporting, uh, with the automations, how it helps you stay in compliance by getting those key deadlines up in front of you, uh, removing reporting headaches because you've got all your documents and all the conversations in one place. Um, those dashboards and that automation allow you to communicate and collaborate as a team. And you can see where you really have that visibility. Uh, and, and the final thing that we love about the platform that we use to build this is that it's a solution that really can fit you now and grow into the future. And so um, you can use as much of the complexity or as little of the, of the solution as you choose. And the platform itself um, can be done for, can be used for so much more within your organization. And so we built it on a platform called Smartsheet and it's used for a whole host of other things besides grant management. You can see some of those things there. And what that means to you is investing in the system allows you to not only have a fantastic solution to manage your grants, but you've got some added bonuses where you can leverage it for other activities in your organization. And so as you want to go down that path um, at expansion, we've got a fantastic team that can help make you successful. 
uh, and we'd be really thrilled to kind of explore that with you. All right, well, um, thank you everybody. Um, this recording will be available and uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll reach out to you to, to see if we can help you make your grant management easier. Thanks.